Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, today I would like to make a practical video and share my setup for learning Quran. And uh, everybody has their own way. Uh, I have spent many years tweaking and copying other people's suggestions until I kind of arrived at a way that works for me. So I have tried to combine my learning styles and you know the things that I like, things that spark joy for me. And this is how it kind of looks like for me. Uh, feel free to take what works for you or what might intrigue you and then disregard the rest and this is just something that brings me joy when i spend the time in the with the quran and makes me more likely to study right uh, just because i have something that i enjoy so i will put in the description box all the things that you might need or you'd like to get um, but this is how it works for me so this is just a simple three ring binder and uh, I use these page protectors and I have a working printer downstairs. So this is important. <laughs> you need a printer for this uh, because it's going to be like a customized system for you. So uh, I will start with a page that I'm studying and here I will put a name, you know, put a number of the page 137. I'll mark it in English, uh, but there is an Arabic page as well. But I still struggle even though I've learned Arabic numbers a long time ago. I just have a hard time finding the page numbers. So I like to make it stick out here and just mark it with a sharp piece so it doesn't get um, wiped off and I use these tag things you know that you can get in any stationery store or online uh, so what I do is as the first page I print out the page from the PDF uh, Quran from the Tajweed Mus'hab you know with the one that comes with all the Tajweed rules in it so what I will do is when I start to study a new page I will print this out and I will read through it and I will go, you know, through the Tajweed rules, making sure everything is clear. I know how to pronounce it. I will read it and I will listen to um, uh, Dr. Eamon Swaby, I believe is his name, recitation on YouTube. I will type in the page number that I'm reading and I will find his recitation. And usually it's about four minutes per page and he recites really slowly. And so you can, you know, make note of any rules that you might have and you know that you can take a look and this is you know if you're studying tajweed this can be helpful to you so you can you know have the markings even if you don't know all the tajweed rules but this is really helpful so you can listen and follow along and then you have the colors so this i keep in a page protector because this is sort of my guide this is where i start with my page study the next page is just a regular page from the Medina type of stuff, right? Uh, this is uh, just black and white. Uh, you can have those, um, those are the masahib that they have oh, Sorry for the noise, <laughs> I'm opening my drawer. This is one of those, right? Uh, this is just, you know, big print. This is the regular type, right? You can have a mushaf, but I like to customize it, you know, because this is my studying binder, right? This is not for, uh, you know, just reading the Quran. This is when I'm studying, when I'm actively putting an effort in, right? So this is in the next page, after the Tajweed kind of stuff. Now the Tajweed rules are not marked any more now this is a blank page this is like you know in any mushaf how it would look like and this is then where i practice reading now on my own and usually this is the page i will use when i read to my teacher uh, my teacher is uh, with the Wahyul Academy. I will post the link below uh, so you can check it out, inshallah. So I have classes with her four days a week and then I will read to her. I think it's really important that you have a teacher. Uh, now things have been made uh, much easier with the online availability of classes. Before I had to go to a Quran school, I had to, you know, figure out arrangements for my children. I had to spend time in, in a car or bus and, you know, it was very difficult. Now I can have a 30 minute one on one class with a teacher and it's tremendously helpful because you know I can get corrected on my mistakes so for here uh, I will mark it with a pencil uh, so uh, here I was struggling with the pronunciation here I was doing shadda on both letters so I marked it you know just so I remember it and then here she mentioned that you know I wasn't doing the rikhawa of the blood long enough the first blood because there's two of them in the shadda I still sometimes struggle with the shadda uh, you know I tend to forget there's two letters in there right and so uh, here here I marked it again so I you know when I'm reading it on my own I pay attention to the words and this is basically the feedback uh, of my teacher on this page right the next page uh, is again printout we're still on page 137 and this is in my language now I speak Bosnian and obviously you could use any translation to a language that matters to you this is the translation of this page right and so I want to read it I want to know what's going on I want to understand it now I've been studying Arabic for a while and I've been living in 
the Middle East for a while as well. But still, it somehow hits differently when I read it in my own language, right? <laughs> and here, I will sometimes make a, you know, um, I will underline or highlight, um, you know, an ayah that particularly strikes me, the meaning of it, right? That I want to kind of keep back on it, or maybe it gives me some thought, you know? And so this is where I will kind of make any tafsir sort of questions. I will put it on the translation page. If something is not clear, I will put a, you know, question mark so I can come back to it, inshallah, right? So we're still on page 137. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I put it on the right side, like the way I, you know, because even though it's a one-sided printout, I put it on the right side because this is on the right side in the Mus'haf when you're memorizing it, right? So I keep, you know, uh, this is the right side and the left side of the memorization, right? So I hope it this makes sense, right? So I print it out that way. Now, this all takes a little bit of time, but it brings me joy because, you know, this is something I like to organize and it uh, allows me to spend more time with the Quran, okay? Now, this is the Quran Maqdis PDF uh, that you can also find online. And I print this one in color as well, same like the Tajweed Mus'haf. Those are the only ones that I print out in color, right? Because of the color code rules. Uh, this is the same concept with the Tajweed rules. It's a little bit of a different markings than the first one, but this one has the English translation next to it. Now, obviously, English is my second language, but sometimes when you read a translation in English, it will have a different point. You know, it will bring up a different uh, idea. Uh, so I like to have that as well. And then here is the word for word translation of the page, right? So then I can look, oh, Shems is the sun. Okay, so then I can pay attention to that. And you know, the more you read, the more it will be, you know, um, the, the easier it will be for you to eventually, you know, grasp the full meaning, right? So at this point, you know, we've been with the page 137 for a while, right? We've been reading it, we've been corrected on it. Now I'm looking at the English, I'm reading the story about Ibrahim. Uh, at this point, uh, if I have time, uh, I will uh, try to find, you know, some tafsir, uh, Ibn Kathir or Tafsir al-Sa'adi. I will go back and read if there is something particular that interests me. At the moment, I'm not delving too deep into the tafsir of things. I am just focusing on reading the Quran in Arabic and basic understanding of it, right? So if there is a question, I will make a question mark here or I will put a post-it note to come back to it. But usually this is something reserved for a deeper tafsir session later on, right? Now, this is where the fun part begins. This is a cardstock paper. These are regular papers that I used to print out. This is a cardstock paper and I print out, um, this is a PDF of the Quran that I got from the, there is some word info from the Sunnah infographics. I got it off of Etsy. It's a PDF file of the whole Quran and it's the Medani style, okay, as you can see. And so this is the right side and this is the left side, right? And so I print it out on cardstock because I want the page to be sturdy. And this is where I start uh, tracing it, okay? I tried over the years uh, to write it out myself. My Arabic is horrific. <laughs> it doesn't look good. And I've noticed that I really like to write things down. You know, when I'm writing in English in my own language, I like to write things down. And so I thought, okay, this will help me solidify. Maybe it will help me improve. But, you know, the tracing certainly helps, right? So it's, you know, something, it takes me a long time. I have to be very careful. Uh, but, you know, if I'm mindful, you know, it allows me to spend more time with the Quran. So if it's taking me, you know, time to trace the where and if and all, then, you know, I'm taking my time to also internalize, you know, the pronunciation and the meaning of the words, right? Now, as I'm doing it, sometimes I will just do it quietly on my own while reading along. More often than not, I will listen to that particular page. So I will type in, uh, you know, Sheikh Yasser Dosari maybe or Maher Muakali. I will type in, you know, page 137 and I will just find that particular page. I'm not going to listen to the whole surah. I'm just going to listen to this page and I will put it on repeat um, while I'm doing this copy work, right? And so usually at this point, I'm becoming very familiar with the page, right? Because it's taking me time. And again, it's not going to look perfect. It looks like preschool level writing, uh, but it helps you internalize the page. So at this point, I know this page is about Ibrahim and the conversation with his father. And I'm kind of paying attention to the letters. And then again, if I have any question, I can always go back. What does it mean? What does this word mean? As I'm tracing it, and it's taking me some time. And so this is how I engaged. Um, this is, you know, you need some cardstock, you need some paper, you need a working printer. Uh, but this is something that brings me joy, and uh, it's kind of creating my own study materials, and um, you know, it's helping me spend that time in a joyful way, uh, where I'm kind of. Uh, 
following along uh, uh, to the audio version, using my hands to write it down, looking at the colors, staying with the visual style of, you know, right and left handed sides, following the same print, same type of print, the Usmani script, you know, in the Medani Masahir, the 15 line Mas'ab. And so this is kind of what helps me keep track. Then this will be then page, um, yeah, so this is 137. Oops, I, looks like I have another copy here, 137. Uh, oh, no, no, this is the same page. See, I got distracted. So after I'm finished tracing, uh, this is it then. This is it for that particular page, right? And so then I would do page 138, and I would follow the same process of printing it out. I usually tend to print it out, you know, only a few pages at a time, uh, so I can really focus and take my time. Now, uh, at the moment, I am not focusing on memorization per se. I am just reading through it, delving deep, reciting to my teacher. I've done a number of Tajweed courses over the years and uh, attended a number of Quran schools, but this year my focus is to just, you know, dig deeper, uh, improve my pronunciation, make sure I understand what's going on and this is my study session okay I have times where I'm revising I have times where I'm just reading I have times where I'm memorizing particular surahs but this is sort of my Quran study session okay where I go a little bit more into depth uh, I hope that makes sense and then uh, to top it off here on the last side I have a tracker uh, that I printed a long time ago. Uh, it's based on Merkaz al-Furqan, where my boys used to go when we used to live in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. They have that uh, annual sort of log book, and I think this is an English version that I printed out long time ago somewhere. So I keep the copy on my uh, computer, and then I just print it out. So for example, then today, I would put today, I would say Thursday, I would say Surah Al-Anam from verse 74 to 81. Right. This is the one that I've been studying. This is my daily lesson. And then I would, you know, log here if I've done my revision, my most recent revision or my long term revision, you know, of the previous stuff. Right. And what it's been. So you can log that. So you have kind of um, an idea of progress. And, you know, if you're skipping days, skip them. So then you can also pay attention to, you know, what's going on with your schedule. Uh, why is this not getting done? Right. Um, I think it's important to tweak the system to whatever way works for you uh, you know if you're somebody who doesn't like stationery if you're somebody who is going to be stressed out because they don't have a printer they don't want to spend money on all these kind of things then don't worry about it find something that works for you but for me this is an enjoyable process that allows me to spend more of my time with the Quran uh, and enjoy it inshallah all right I hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon Assalamu alaikum